Ahead of Sunday's election, the candidates in Finland's legislative races had one last chance to make their case to voters. Among them, the current prime minister, Sanna Marin. Four years ago, when she was just 34, she became the world's youngest head of state. And now, she says, she's running on her record. We've had difficult years, but together we have overcome these trials because there is trust in our society and in our Nordic state welfare system. Credited with steering the country through the pandemic and at times criticized for a social life that included partying, Marine enjoys a high job approval rating above 60 percent. But a victory is far from assured. Her Social Democratic Party is polling third, not far behind its two main rivals, the center-right National Coalition Party and the far-right Nationalist Finns Party. The election coincides with a historic moment for Finland as it prepares to become an official member of NATO this week. But the campaign is focused on issues closer to home, such as the economy and inflation. The leader of the center-right NCP says he's optimistic. I want to boost economic growth because only by uh, you know, with economic growth we can take care of our services, public services and, and security. The far-right nationalist Finns are also hoping to come out on top, which would be a first for the anti-immigration party. The biggest issue at the moment is the growing juvenile delinquency, the rate of street crimes, and uh, the one, one main issue behind it is the uh, migration to Finland. Mm -hmm. The leader of the winning party in Sunday's election will have a chance to form a government and become the PM. But coalition talks are expected to be complicated.